Is that right, Mr. Tran? About 15 to 20 oh, seconds. Oh, 15 seconds. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's a long time. Yeah. So, <laughs> isn't it weird having an assembly, just you guys here, and we know they're all watching us, and part of being at an assembly when someone's performing or talking is you feed off the audience, so you get all hyped up because there's lots of people in front of you, and now it's just me and just you guys. So you guys are going to be smiling and look up at me adoringly so that I feel happy and enthusiastic and passionate and excited. Is that good? Yes, sir. Is that good? Yes. yes good. And you guys don't have the luxury of being able to see the top of my head. Because when you get over 50, because I'm getting so old, these guys, and I don't like the way he has that form going, because no one can see how I'm going bald, because I'm so tall, you can't normally see the top of my head. But the way that camera is angled, and I reckon he does it on purpose, so that everyone will be watching it and they will be seeing my little board spot coming on. Because I'm 53, that's pretty old, right? That's when you start to get bald. So Mr. Tran, I think you need to move that camera down a bit. <laughs> anyway, Kanakoto Tawarikima! You guys in your classrooms, we can't see you, but we can hear you, and we want to see, we want to see how loud you can scream. We don't just want to hear you in here, we want Miss Deutsch and her house around the corner to hear you, hear you. So when I say it again, these guys are going to be louder than you've been so far. You're looking so shy and so quiet, they're so polite. So you guys are going to go real loud, and then the minute you're finished, there will probably only be about five seconds left for them to go. And we'll all go like this with our ears to see if we can hear them. So you guys are going to be louder than you are. I want to hear room 22 right down here. Got it, miss? Excellent. Radio. All the time! Give them a big thumbs up to the camera so they can see. Thank you guys. Okay, obviously we're having our assembly here and there's no class doing the assembly this week because it would have been unfair for a class to run the first assembly the first week back. They wouldn't have been able to have time to be organised with their presentation. Now, we are actually allowed to have assemblies now, but we decided maybe the first week we just wouldn't. So remember, tell the person next to you, and you guys tell the person next to you as well, what is the rule around sitting together and all that sort of stuff? You can sit next to each other. The one or two metre rule does not impact in a school. And there's been so much misinformation out there and people think it does. It doesn't. What is the rule about being at school though in the closeness? Remember that word? Tell the person next to you. Excellent. I hope you guys in your classrooms heard that as well. It's moist breath distance, which means you're not talking right closely to someone. So you can be sitting where you're sitting, just don't turn real close so that when you speak, you spit everywhere. Because if you get excited when you speak, you might start spitting like I do. But that's because, I've told you before, when I was younger, I used to have a stutter, and that still affects sometimes when I get all excited and I speak. Anyway. I'm not going to rave too long because it feels a bit weird, right, with you guys, just you guys, and you guys just want me to be quiet and get on with it, right? <laughs> right, but one, I've got a few messages. One of the things, it's now winter, of course, and when you're at assembly, and next week we will be having proper assemblies, you're able to wear your sweatshirt, remember now. So if you have not got a sweatshirt yet, and you need to buy one, or you need to get one from somewhere, then get on with that. If you can't get one yet, your mum or dad, or auntie or uncle, whoever you live with, can write a note to Mr Bartlett, 
and you can wear another plain sweatshirt for a couple of weeks until you've got that sorted. There's no problem if you don't have one. There's no reason why you can't be warm. You just wear a plain black sweatshirt or cardi or jersey or something until you get the proper school uniform. But you must follow the system. Tell the person next to you what you do. Must follow the system. No, we know you're following the system, Mr Lee. I'm wanting to know what the system is. Tell the person next to you what you do by following the system. Excellent. I heard everybody say, you get your whānau to write a note, you come and see Mr Bartlett, Mr Bartlett will give you a pass for a week or two. Excellent. You are also able to wear, obviously, black long trousers. Plain black trousers or black tights. Boys, the tights are for the girls, okay? If you want to wear the tights, you just wear them at home. Radio. The attendance this week has been interesting. Because we're quite fussy at Manareo Intermediate, we're happy to have all you guys here, but we want everybody to be back at school. Because everyone needs to be at school. None of us have time to waste. It is urgent business we've got to do. Because remember, if you are aged 11, 12 or 13, and you are reading at a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 year old reading age, it's not good enough. Tell the person next to you what you are doing about that. Taking some responsibility yourself. You can speak louder. <laughs> we heard you guys, awesome. Radio. I spoke the other day, if you were here on the first day, I talked about all the different things that have happened around the school over the last few months with the asphalting and the fence at the back, etc. I cannot believe that some of us think it's okay to mark our beautiful new fence all around the perimeter of the field. We don't need to touch it. So if you are playing right in the little corners of the field, that's fine. You know we have very few out-of-bound areas in our school. If you are playing around the fence, you do not need to touch it. You do not need to scribe, which means write, onto it. We want it to look spick and span, just like the rest of our school. Fair enough? Tell the person next to you what spick and span means, please. Everybody. Everybody. So spick and span means perfect, beautiful, awesome. Is that right? Excellent. Radio. Oh yeah, I see. I'm, I'm not used to not having a proper audience. I'm going all over the place. I started talking about having everyone at school, and then I forgot what I was talking about. So we're wanting everyone to be at school. So you guys who are here, a massive pat on the back. Give yourselves a pat on the shoulder. Thank you very much. There is no reason not to be at school unless you are sick. Now, at the moment, we've got about 640 kids who've been coming each day. It's a bit less today, I don't know why. But anyway, we want those other 220 odd kids to be here as well. So if you've got a friend who has not been at school yet, and you know they're not sick, you get on to them and put a bit of positive pressure on them to be at school on Monday, please. Because none of us have time to waste. We want everybody at school participating, contributing, being motivated, being energised and getting back into the life of what is school at Manarewa Intermediate School. So, hands up to you guys. So, this week, some of the attendance totals have been fantastic. Like for example, Rimu, 80% of Rimu classes have been at school. That's pretty amazing. 76% of Kōwhai, 74% of Kauri and 67% of Tawa. So we say if one house can have 80%, every Fano can have 80%. But next week we are saying we are wanting back to what our normal amount is. Normally we have on average of round about 91 to 92% attendance, which is really, really high in our country. But it's not high enough for us. 
We don't care that some schools only ever have 80% every day. We are wanting 95% because school is the best place for you to be, unless you are sick. Got it? Awesome. Rightio, uh, Miss Harwich, I know you're being very quiet in your room, in room 79. Would you like to get yourself over here ASAP, please? So I think there's going to be an LA in her room. Someone? Someone's going into her room? Say that again. No, I want her. That's why I asked for Miss Harwich. Miss Brooks trying to tell me what to do, and I disagreed with her. <laughs> So Miss Harwood is going to come in a second, but you know what, I might do these first, actually I will, we'll wait for her before we do the certificates. But we've got silver cards and a gold card this week, woo! Hey, show some enthusiasm, we've got some silver cards and a gold card this week! Yeah. Ah, yay! What did you say? Yeah. Excellent, yay! So, congratulations to these people. Very exciting. The first one is going to a young man for being sussed and winning the man in the mirror challenge with his sign language video. Being sussed and winning the man in the mirror challenge with his sign language video. And that was done during lockdown. So that took some motivation and some effort and some book. And that is Marshall in room 32. Come on down, Marshall. Remember, we don't clap till the end. You guys are so clever, you remembered, you're perfect. Just wait there, Miss Harwoods. I started doing something else instead. Sorry about that. We also, just wait there, my friends. We also have someone for being sussed as well, doing something else. From room six, for being sussed and doing the right thing by stopping others being unkind to a boy in the playground. Come on up, Hunter. And the last silver card, this young man was being sussed as well for doing the right thing by stopping others being unkind to a boy at the playground. Come on up, Noah from 78. And I watched, when I read his name just then, I visualised something I watched in the lockdown where he was making bacon and eggs. So you didn't know this necessarily, unless I made a comment. I was jumping in and out of Google Hangouts and looking at this and looking at that, seeing what yummy things you were up to, what learning you were doing. And I was watching him make some bacon and eggs, but I was a bit concerned about something, wasn't I? What was I concerned about? Yeah, because I emailed him afterwards because I noticed he cooked the eggs before the bacon, like ages before, and then I was a bit concerned his eggs were going to get cold. Now, who likes cold eggs? Not me, I love cold eggs, with, I like warm eggs with lots of sauce all over it. But he explained to me how he kept them warm. So that was good. Rightio, well done guys, so you clap and I've given them to them, okay? Right, Hunter. No, no, no. Oh yes, oh! Oops! Lucky Hunter and I are both safe and healthy. We're not meant to shake hands, I forgot. <gasps> So what, what's, the, what's, the, what's the other one you do? Is it, there is, oh, we'll just pretend we are. Right. Awesome, give them a big hand. Ah, big hand, oh very good. Thanks guys, well done, thank you. And the gold card, wow, even more points. This young lady did something really interesting during lockdown as well. Did, was it on, did, did, was it on our website afterwards? No, it was the photo was. It was put up on our website afterwards. But she did a cool thing in the community with her whanau, showing Araha in our community by constructing an awesome Anzac memorial on the front fence of her house during lockdown. So Anzac Day this year was obviously during the lockdown, and normally we'd talk about it at an assembly. We'd do our big um, display out the front there. So what we had to do, Mr. Devereaux had to get his kids who were here one day, just before Anzac Day, and they put all the crosses out where we normally do it with you guys, and made our little uh, presentation. I think that was on our website too, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was. 
So that was quite cool that we were able to still recognise and acknowledge it, and done by kids as well. So let's give a let's give a big hand to Eddie. They can't hear you. To Eddie and Judah, they go to Hill Park School. But put their hand up, poke it up there, and say thank you, guys. <laughs> Radio. So. I'm intrigued about where the motivation came from this, so I hope she can have the confidence to talk about this. So room 29, Mina, come on up. Remember the team handshake? Are you able to are you able to talk really loudly? Can you just whisper to me what made you guys do it? So she said they were like being creative and they were thinking about obviously the Anzacs and the people who were involved in that, what it represented. So that was pretty cool. And it did look quite cool, I assure you, if you haven't seen it. Congratulations, thank you very much. There you go. Oh! Tyler, another one. Give her a big hand. Awesome. Well done, my dear. Thank you. You can go back there. Thank you. So it's also most people showing good community spirit, which is why we give out our gold cards and our silver cards. And I think they were the first ones for this year. Yeah, they were. So well done. So Mina, you're the first gold card for this year. Awesome. Give her a round of applause. Yeah. Uh, a round of applause. You're doing that? Excellent. Rightio. Certificates this week. The first certificate for the staff one this week is going to Miss Harwich. She was probably wondering, why am I even here? So we're giving Miss Harwich a certificate for this week because she lives our vision and values so well. She's been here for ages, longer than me, but does some great things for our kids and is always positive, is always prepared to get involved and stuck in. And I've got to now read get my very expensive $2 glasses out. See, when you get old, you don't only start to go bald, you also start to go blind. And then when you get really old, you start to get shorter. So at least I'm really tall to start with, right? Because when I get shorter, when I'm an old man, I'll still be quite tall. So that's all right. So Ms. Harwich, we say thank you for living our vision and values, for some great online teaching she did in the holidays, for her great art exhibition support, and always being positive. So that means she is showing and living our vision and values all the time. All the time! Every time! All of us! Everywhere! Woo! All right! The neighbours will be getting very tired of us with all that shouting, won't they? We're allowed to shake hands because we're in the same bubble as such, because we're at school every day, so we're all right. Thank you very much. Give a big clap. Okay, so do we get this week? Remember when your name is called out, you stand up tall and proud with your arms at your side, smiling beautifully, so we can see your teeth that you. That you. And why do you brush your teeth twice a day? Tell the person next to you without moist distance. With moist, moist distance, I mean. Awesome. Right, the first group get their certificates for something to do with their academic learning this week. Or maybe during the lockdown with online stuff. So, well done. Room 37, Lasili. Room 37, Maui. Room 69, all of room 69. So someone from room 69, stand up. Room 33, Manoa. Room 9, Javan. Room 79, Lucian. Room 29, Viuli. Room 25, Kaba. Room 28, Tonga. Room 25, Mariah. Room 23, Peyton. Are you standing tall? Are you smiling gorgeously? Give those guys a big clap. Well done, guys. And they obviously will get their certificate at the end when I read out why they got it. So the next group get their certificates for something to do with being a great friend, following our smart target, following our keys to success, being a good friend, having a great attitude, being positive, getting stuck in, participating, contributing, all those sorts of things. 
So, well done to room 78, Zeb. Room 23, Zane. Room 73, Manaya. Room 15, Stephanie. Room 6, Essence. Room 22, Agina. Ah, I'm sorry. Room 12, Zonte. Zonte. Room 35, Shade. Room 13, Akin. Room 81, Tatiana. Room 62, Shalom. Room 4, Gabriel. Room 75, Chomti. Room 71, Niki Nishika. Room 27, Sharab. Room 26, Yossi. Room 3, Ashley. Room 30, Room 30, Kalania. Room 70, Maya. Room 19, Dijania. Room 20, George. Room 71, Dylan. Gosh, it's a lot. Room 4, Anna. Room 11, Paige. Room 75, Suela. Room 37, Zylon. Room 32, Charles. Room 62, I've already said that, I thought. Oh, Shalon. Room 62, Shalon, I'm forgetting too. Room 28, Ocean. Room 4, Joseph. Room 71, Romeo King. Room 34, Velvet. And room 71, Jamal. Are you guys all standing? Smiling gorgeously. Arms at your sides. Beautiful big white teeth. That you? Twice, twice a day. You're so quiet. See, I've had to be more loud than I normally am because you're so quiet and I've got to be louder. Are you missing everybody else as well? Does it feel weird just being you guys? Are you lonely? Are you sad that your friends aren't all here? Right, excellent. Give those guys a big hand, please. So obviously we've had one week of our My Expression, so we've got one more week to go, so there's no timetable. So as you heard on Monday, we changed it so that the first two weeks you'd be back in your form class without moving around so that you can start to engage and get a good attitude again and get used to things at MI after being away for so long. So we were going to have My Expression the second to last and the third to last week, so instead the timetable carries on. We also have made the decision the timetable for this next module starting Monday week will go till the end of week two, term three. So that those of you who are in the module classes still get the full weeks of that program. Because weeks one and two of next term were supposed to be a no timetable module around the Olympic Games anyway, all associated with the new topic for term three. So this way, the only thing we're missing out on is that two-week module, because there ain't no Olympic Games anyway, right? right? When are the Olympic Games? Do you know now? Look, if I was asking you, I would have looked at you, Mr. Lee. I was asking these guys. Who can tell me, when is the Olympic Games next year? What month next year do you know? There's your little challenge to find out. And it's very similar to when it was meant to be this year. Right. That's right, right? Yes, that's right, right. Excellent. See, I'm talking to myself. I could be Graham Norton and host this show. Gosh. Anyway, right now, I think that's all I need to say at the moment. Is that right, Miss Brooke? Miss Brooke's the boss of the assemblies, right? So she's giving me a dirty look saying, hurry up, Mr. Taylor. Stop talking. But, you know, I haven't talked to you guys for so long. I've just got all hyperactive all of a sudden. Right, who's next anyway? Oh, Mr. Barlett, you're next. Yeah, you are. Come on up. See, there's no kids to invite you. You're just waiting for some music and some big fanfare or something. Oh, oh, there we go. Brand new Lamborghini, pistol on my head like I'm a cop. I think probably he's probably the only one who doesn't ask for justice. Because he's got a nasty habit when he comes and speaks and he takes the mic out and holds the mic. And I don't understand that. I just don't know why he just doesn't have it in front of his mouth like this and talk, instead of holding it. Anyway, Mr. Barlow, it's all yours. Tēnā koutou tamariki ma. So, we're starting off with values today. Values for our teacher. So, this is going to Miss Tamaki for going out of her comfort zone and playing the guitar at the poor fitty. So I think, I think we've got a student here who's going to come and collect that. I'm going to lay this down.
that's for you, Ms. Tamaki. Okay, so, and values for the student goes to Jonti from Room 75 for doing his artwork independently and helping those in need. Are you here, Jonti? You see this? He gets a little poor for you too. Right there. All right, so in my bucks banking for the week, this went to Riley for 70, from 71. So you've got some points for your whānau next week. And I'll just leave that here for you, right here. Little koha. And on to attendance. So let's see, it was fourth. Unfortunately, Tawa. Third was Cody. Second was Kofi. And that means first was Rimu. We'll probably hear their celebrations in 10 seconds. Late, fourth place was Kofi. Third, Tawa. Second, Cody. And first was Rimu. 13, 78, and 81. You have Mufti shoes next week because you had perfect late, um, perfect late records and uniform. Fourth Kofi, third Tawa, second Rimu, and first Cody. Now, through the lockdown, we had the 1,000 subscribers to our YouTube channel competition. And I've picked a student out randomly who subscribed to both channels, MITV and Manirua Intermediate Media Channel. It's a big accomplishment getting to a thousand subscribers yesterday, so I'd like to thank you, the school, for that. Now we can uh, get our M MITV cameras into the classroom live and go live from the classrooms. So give yourself two pats on the back for that. And Kata from room 33, are you here? Now remember, this was a different prize. This was $20 cash. So, there's your koha for next week, or you may spend it today, however you wish. And yes, as Mr. Taylor would say, save it into your bank account, save for a house. Now, these next students really need to run to get here because they're running from class. So we will be starting with the big bucks bonus. And congratulations to these students who can now move to the, back to their seats. Round of applause. <laughs> Remember to run from class really, really quickly. All right, who we got? What class? Monday period four. The student has to run. The student from Monday period four, and it's room 73. So they should be running with the MI money book right now. And uh, Mr. Filipini's first up, while we're waiting for people to run over, you can come up. Come up here. Just stand over here in front of us, because I know you're up for it. In front of us, right here, Mr. Chang. All right, now he's gonna dance this song. Go. <laughs> Hit that. Now this tune was made uh, by a high school student, a lot of our students know, it's MH. You ready? Oh, he's got it, he's got it, yes. And cut, round of applause for Mr. Filipini. Oh, and it's Gloria who was here during lockdown, and she's been awesome this year, so I'm proud she's winning these points for her class and her whānau. Excellent job. Awesome, Gloria. Pat for Room 73. Pat for Room 73. <laughs> Mr. Tran, Commitment to Education teacher. So we need a student allocated from room 13 to be running over right now. Any students that want to step up to the plate? Hand up. 
All right, let's go. Oh, yeah. awesome. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. All right, hit that joint. Oh, 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 go. Too easy. That must be TikTok famous for doing. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Just in time. Round of applause. Let's have a looky here. And 100% attendance for the week. Excellent. Now that's a round of applause for Miss. And now on to our last one. Commitment to education student. And it is Kalani from room 34. And you're running down. And any, any adults want to be picked? Yep. Or else I'm just going to nominate, because I know this, this teacher's up for it all the time. Mr. Lee! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Come up! up really quickly. Awesome. Big clap for Mr. Lee. Kalani room 34 for attendance. Excellent. Round of applause for Kalani. And yeah, we'll get some other Fado leaders up here next week, eh? Have a good weekend. That's me. Thank you, Mr. Solomona. It's awesome. Hey, um, today it's really, really cool that I get to present a child with a badge. So my, I look after the community council this year, and my council had had nine kids in it. And so for the first term, I was looking at a student who could uh, represent the community council really, really well. And this child is amazing. And I actually put this student under the under a test when I was away at leadership camp to see how they would do with the uh, eye vision testers. And he was amazing. And he's just a great kid. And he's already got something today at assembly. And I know his photos here as well, mum and dad, which is really awesome. Uh, so this goes to Noah at room 78. He's our 10th community councillor. So when I give him the badge, guys, on the floor, you, could, you need to give him a big round of applause, okay? Well done, Noah. during lockdown, level four and level three. A lot of it that you wouldn't have seen at all, okay? So well done to, the, uh, to us, basically. So week six, Faro Cobb, we got straight back into it. So this is the My Money for this week. Yes, we are back. Classroom money, very, very, very close this week. And the depository, not so much. So there was no fourth place in the classroom money, which is interesting. Tama came fourth in the money. Depository. So we had a second equal in classes. 
So the next time I do a slide, there'll be nothing there as well because there's a first equal, obviously, in classes as well. So, massive round of applause for those people there, the fun in there. The classroom money was 103 for Cody, 103 for Limu, and then 101 for Kufai, and 101 for Tawa. In my time, I've never seen the classroom money so close. And that, I suspect, is because you're with your own form teachers. <laughs> Go the Cody class, I think that was screaming room 73. Uh, your money books for this week. Once again, pretty close between first and second. Uh, what came... Fines played a big part in this. And there was hardly any fines this week, but they still played a significant part. Warangrimu, because they got no fights. It's really important. Cody Student Positive Play Award goes to Meng Nguyen for giving 100% in school and in lockdown. Random Student Positive Play Award goes to Anna in room 71 for being organized and present at every online meeting. Positive Play Award for Tawa goes to Ruth for helping during the lockdown and making sure people were online. Kofi Teacher Positive Play Award goes to Mr. Brent Hansen for pushing us students during the PPTs. Cody Teacher Positive Play Award goes to Mr. S. Jr. for teaching Cody a new chart. Kofi Student Award goes to Dayton from room 62 for doing the right thing with his learning. Raymond Teacher Positive Play Award goes to Mr. Shepard for keeping his classes finished up during lockdown. Human student positive play work goes to Lily Rosen, 32, boys having a bright attitude towards everything. Tower teacher positive play award goes to Mr. Filippini for sorting out all the tower for new calls during the lockdown. Friends and teacher positive play award goes to Mr. Taylor um, for leading our school through lockdown. We thought long and hard about this, and uh, the sustainable enterprise um, shield goes to room 33. Uh, we gave it to them because they explained how um, they've reused the materials that um, were going to be thrown into the landfill. Yeah. explain this microphone when he spits all over it. I'm just gonna... You're not licking it. <laughs> you almost do. 
you guys see him last week, right? Alright, um, so I went around um, yesterday afternoon and today um, and I put some kids on the spot today which is really cool for the Environment Shield. I also kind of re-explained uh, environment being about the walls display, the process learning taking place, um, and also uh, the culture environment. Um, and the, the emotional environment of the classroom is really important as well. Uh, particularly, we're all coming back to school, and I put kids on the spot to try and sell it to me. And Vivan from 27 did an awesome job. So room 27, you'll get to the environment shield today. Someone from 27. That's not Vivan, by the way. Uh, well done to all those people who received something, it's pretty awesome. So, at the end of last term, because we didn't have our final assembly, we didn't acknowledge the winning whanos and what the results were for the term one Fano competition. So I'm going to do that first before we do the Fano points for this week. So fourth was Kofai, third was Tawa, second was Kauri, and first was Rimu. Give them a big clap, please. Are they capable of doing the haka, do you think, in their classes? No? Oh, gosh. I was thinking they'd be able to do it. Or their chant, I mean, sorry, their chant? So, Rimu classes, we're going to hear your chant now. If you're Rimu, stand up, stand up, stand up. So, we're going to hear all the Rimu classes doing the chant. One, two, three, go! You can all stand up and join it. Come on, let's go. Do it. We want some warmth and we want some energy. Come on. And go, Mr. Pailua. But you know what that displayed? That showed we're actually bigger than just our whanau because we are our whole Manarewa school. So that's awesome. I just heard someone over there from Rimu chanting just then. So thank you guys for that. Also, the whanau points for the first week at school. So we have... Oh, did I read it the wrong way around before? I didn't? No? Oh, it's exactly the same. Oops, you already know the results for the week. Oh gosh, the results for this week are the same. Did you make a mistake, Miss? Oh, I made a mistake. What was the mistake I made? Oh right, oh gosh, what an anti-climax that was. Crikey, oh gosh. So far no points for the first week back after lockdown, which has been week Week six. six, excellent. So fourth place, four five. Third place, Tawa. Drum roll, please. Let's, let's pretend. Lots of people pretend before an anti climax. And then we have Cody, followed by Rimu, is first. Give them a big clap. Awesome. We won't ask you to do it again. On Monday at Assembly, I spoke about the work all the staff had done during lockdown and how some of the staff, like all the leadership team and all the LAs and admin staff have been back for, this is our fourth week, I think. So the three weeks when you're online learning, we were all back full time 
and all your teachers were busy working, doing your online learning stuff as well, and then some of you were back at school and all the teachers were doing rosters. So we acknowledge them. You've now had a week back at school, most of you who are here. So I want you to give a big shout out to all the staff at school for the way they have been motivating you, been encouraged to be back at school, happy to see you and excited to see you. So we're going to give them a big thanks. Now we're going to be a bit ahead of them. We're going to hear them shout in a different letter because they're going to be behind us. But give me a T. H. A. N. K. S. What does it spell? What does it spell? What does it spell? Point to a staff member and say thank you. Right, sitting up quiet. Did you hear them? Yep, excellent. Well done, guys. We haven't forgotten you. Out of sight, but not out of our mind. Uh, is that nice? <laughs> Bless, yes. Right, yo, are we having another song? Yes, excellent. So, thank you, guys. And I know for you people being here, it's felt a bit weird. But you can say you were in the hub of it. You were in the energy, the centre, the nerves of our first assembly back after lockdown. You will remember this day for the rest of your lives. Gosh, did that sound good? Mr. Devereaux! Okay, go on guys, let's stand up, let's stand up, let's stand up. And now stand Everyone at school in your classroom, stand up please. Yeah. Maybe Mr. Hutchie, maybe you guys can come over here so you with the students, Mr. Lee uh, and Mr. Um, Hey, Lua there. Okay, we've got to this one. And we did this one during lockdown, you remember. Ah, um, man, he's going, one, two, three, four. I walked out to that place. I got here. You know I've heard it before. It seems now that it's over. One thing. Assembly. So thanks for making the time to come and support your um, children. Give them a big hand, guys. Awesome. Radio. So you are now going back to your class. If you've got a certificate, you are staying. Oh, no, it's morning tea time. Oh, crikey. Straight after morning tea, you come back to get your certificate presented, okay? Do not forget. Straight after morning tea, come back. Awesome. Well done, guys. Thank you, Miss Brock.
guys.